Hi Richard mate, how you doing? Good fun live last year done. <laughs> Enjoyed that. Just gonna see if I can pull this big old boat in front of me forward, I think. Sorry about that everyone, I was just moving that big old boat in front of me a bit further forward. It's the water side. Hi Phil mate, how you doing? Welcome to the live. We hope we've got some swans joining us. Mr. Swan. I was hoping there's going to be a few fish about, but it's obviously winter now, so it's going to be a lot harder to find them on the broads. Yeah, it's great, Richard. Everyone was having fun. <laughs> We're all laughing our heads off. Everyone joining in. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Just going to bring us in and make sure the old... Yeah, I thought that's what happened. On my cast, uh, I felt a little thump on that. And the feed has slid down to the hook, which is no good, is it? It's good to get a few casts out there and get some bait down there. worms I've got and stuff are not in the best condition but they should catch us a couple of fish. Hi Michelle, how you doing? Hopefully we can find a few fish. Got swans and signets all swimming around in front of us. There's some ducks around to the right. Just doing your housework. <laughs> I bet it's warmer in your house than it is here. So we've got a little tap. That's a good start. Can you all see the rods right against that boat or do you want me to move it out into the clearer water area? Well, we've been putting it on for a couple of weeks, Michelle. <laughs> That's cold where we are. We're quite near the coast. Curbside Classics, how you doing, mate? Don't 
thanks very much. Got a lot of extra water in the boards at the moment, so it's quite high. I've never tried these spots in the winter, so I've got no idea whether the fish will be here or not. Hence why I thought I'd come down and give it a go. Cheers, Kerso. I had to pull the two boats either side of me just back a little bit, just so I had a bit of room in the middle. End day fishing, how you doing mate? Welcome to the lives. Caught on a big old branch coming down the river there. Gonna have a recast. Martin W, how you doing mate? Hope everything's good. Yeah, we're not too bad, we're getting there. It's been a rough sort of five weeks or so, but I think we're starting to get better. Might take a few casts just to get a bit of bait down there to get the fish to find it. Yeah, hopefully, Martin. Just gonna move this over a bit and hopefully get the rod in a better view, I think. Ooh. Right. It's quite a flow out there today. I'm actually getting pulled down the river, which is not normal for here. Willie Dog, how you doing mate? Yeah, I thought I'd give it a go today. It's a bit cold and windy and the water's very high, but you don't know unless you try. Thank you very much Michelle, appreciate that. Squeaky noises you can hear are the, the boats moving about and the boys pushing against the bank.
Come on, fishies. Let's have some bites. Might take a little while to get a bit of bait down there. Some of you might have seen me fish this spot a few times in the past and normally I can get the fish feeding but I've never tried it in the middle of winter like this. I had to find somewhere out of the wind. So I thought I'd give it a go. Hopefully it's not going to rain on me. Hi Rustic, how you doing mate? Thanks very much, appreciate that. And hear a boat coming. <laughs> Lift you up slowly. A bit better there. Yeah, it's a big old cruise in there coming past. Hopefully, won't pick up my lines. I think I'll just put it in the water just in case. We don't want. No, I'm going to bring it in. We don't want to lose the gear, do we? Not for the sake of the casting, it's a good idea to get some more bait out there. There we go, big old cruiser. Thanks very much, Richard. Appreciate you doing that. Nice to get everyone in and chatting away. I'm fishing out in the middle at the moment, but if I can't get any bites out there, then I'll have a go around these edges just to sort of rod length out or something like that and see what's close in. There's probably going to be bream and roach out in the middle and probably roach and perch, rough and that sort of stuff around the edge of the boats. Like you never know, you can get a bite and you could get anything. You could get a little roach on, the pike could take it. Hey, first bite by the looks of it, is that a bite? Maybe we picked up a, something in the current there. No problem, Martin. The bites haven't started yet, I don't think. We've had a little tap, I think, but nothing too crazy yet. Hopefully we'll get a bit of feed on the bottom and we will start to find it.
put the rod up in the air as usual so everyone can see it. I saw a fish on my own, obviously I'd have it low down and to the side, but I know people like to see the bites. More days out, Andy, how you doing? Welcome to the live. Andy Hawks, how you doing? Welcome in. So I was live for about 15 minutes earlier on and I forgot to make it public. <laughs> so I had to delete it and start again. Hey Connor, how you doing mate? Well, from what I can see, I'm the only one on the bank. Not many people are going to watch it out in the cold. Yeah, it's fairly cold, Connor. <laughs> I have done worse. Apparently, we're meant to be getting some snow, so if that snow, you know, I'll be out in the snow. See if we can catch a snowfish. I have got a live bait pike rod with me as well. If I do catch any little roach and stuff, I might put one out. See if we can get a pike. But we've got to get some bites first. Andy Tigger, how you doing, mate? Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm out of the wind where I am. You can see it go down the river, but that's more of the flow than the wind on the other side of the bridge. Sort of weather you can put up with for a few hours. As long as it don't pour with rain on me. Your chickens are talking to me, are they, Connor? <laughs> I can talk chicken. Oh, I'm getting rained on. Don't want rain. I ain't bought a brolly or nothing either. It's not pouring, it's just spitting. I can put up with that. Come on, fishies, we need a bite. <laughs> Afternoon, Craig. How you doing, mate? Welcome into the live.
Yeah, it was good fun, wasn't it, Michelle? We were all having a laugh, weren't we? Oh, wow, Connor. Thank you very much, Connor. Appreciate that, mate. I haven't even caught you a fish yet. Is that appreciation for coming out in the freezing cold? <laughs> Thank you very much, mate. Doing my best. I've got a bunch of worms on. And then got the old ground bait going out in the feeder. So I'll have a few casts out there where I am. If I can't get them feeding there, then I'll... I'll drop short and see if I can find them there as well. JD, how you doing, mate? Welcome to the live. Diane Andrews, how you doing, Diane? Welcome in. Come on fishies, we need a bite now. Got all these lovely people waiting and watching. <laughs> need to bring you a fish now. Just drop a bit of ground bait around the side of this boat. So we're sort of feeding this wind while we're, while we're waiting. Might be a case that the fish are going to be close in and not out in the middle, but. Oop, me and Rod there. Normally I, um, I catch the bigger stuff out in the middle, but. That can always change. I think everyone really enjoyed your live last night, Richard. It was good fun. sorting out some of my gear and I found this um, fake corn stuff that you use for carp fishing and stuff. Yeah. I might give that a go in a little while if they're not taking these worms. Cheers Jake. What do you reckon, everyone? Do I stay out in the middle of the river for a few more casts, or should we ever go down the side of this boat and see if there's anything down there? So I'm getting rained on, but it's not nothing to worry about. It's just light drizzle.
putting the tree up in that are you Diane? Hope you're having fun. Hi Jeffrey, how you doing? We're going for whatever's gonna bite today, but it's more than likely gonna be bream, roach, perch, rud. We have got a pike rod in the car and I could set one up. If I get something that's a sort of sizable bait for a live bait. Well, we've got to get a few bites first and start catching a few fish. <laughs> Quite surprised I'm struggling to get a bite here to be honest. Thought I'd be getting bites fairly quickly. Might have to drop one short on that bait I just put down there in a second to see what's what. Boat just started up. Which boat are we on about, Connor? The one out in front of us with the blue canopy on it. We are hoping to get one on the broads at some point, but it's not cheap to buy a boat and then you've got to pay for all the moorings, keeping it service, taking it in and out of the water to do repairs and clean. It's quite a big investment. But hopefully one day. Pretty surprised I ain't had a bite. Right, let's see what's happening, bait wise and stuff. Oh, we've still got a worm. Plenty good enough to get a bite with. Sometimes they're not out there in the flow, sometimes they're closer in off the flow, so let's try closer in and see if that does us any better. We'll go around the side of this boat where I put that bait a little while ago. I know it looks very close in, but it's quite deep, so there's plenty of water to get fish. I've had some nice big roach and perch and stuff down the side of these boats. When they're there, so fingers crossed, something's down there.
Hi Joe, how you doing? In Holiday, Mexico, lovely. But it's a lot warmer there than it is here. <laughs> We've only just started, we had a couple of casts. I think I've had one little knock, but no fish yet. We had a couple of casts out in the middle of the river to get some bait out there. But I'm now trying closer in, down the side of the boats. I'm just trying to find some fish. Bye by the water, how you doing mate? Yes, yeah, pretty cold. <laughs> but you know me, I like to get out there and keep the old lives coming to everyone and the videos coming to everyone. 33 degrees, oh, boiling. <laughs> Lovely, Connor. <laughs> Might make a good gram bait. That's true, Michelle. <laughs> oh, that wind's worse than around my head. Hi, Amanda, how you doing? Welcome to the live. I'm Carl, Bob. <laughs> Budget anglers down there, is he? He don't normally come out in the winter. He's normally uh, over here in the summer. Come on, fishies. Oh, uh, right, I didn't realise that, Bob. I thought he'd just come over a couple of times in the summer. That's all right, Bob. You should know I'm Carl, or most people call me Waterside. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, I get called all sorts of things. sitting here wiggling my toes and stuff trying to keep them warm because I ain't got my thermal boots at the moment I need some new ones the moist fan mine
Yeah, you sent me the. Hopefully they're all nice ones as well, Richard. <laughs> How about that, right, mate? I've literally only had a couple of casts, but I ain't found nothing yet. Yeah, I was, I was, I was having to go higher up there and it's absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's not good, is it? No, it's absolutely it's normally pretty good along here, isn't it? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. I think I've had one little tap, Connor, so far. Chap's just come past then, he's fishing further down the river. Couldn't get any bites, so he's just moved up here. Thing is, at a certain point in the winter, they all just move out of the rivers into the boatyards. And they might have already done it, it's trouble. Paul Leo, how you doing mate? Welcome to the live. Sounds good, Bob. You have to give us a shout next time, Bob, and hopefully I won't be ill this time. I know you were down and I was speaking to you, weren't I? I'll have a little meet up with you and have a little fish. I'll literally drop it right down the side of the, the bank if I have to and try and find some perch. If not, we can't get any bites going. There's got to be a few fish out there, surely. Jay, really appreciate that, mate. Thanks very much. Appreciate all my mods sharing me out and helping me get people into the channel and pushing things up into the search and stuff like that. Getting rid of people that are putting silly things in the chat. They really, really appreciate all the mods and they want to help the channel. And obviously everyone else that just support the channel as well. Fishing frustrations, John, how you doing, mate? How's the new car going? You been out and about? Bob by the water, yes, I'm at Ludden Bridge. There it is, Ludden Bridge. I missed up my camera angle now. <laughs> It's uneven here, so I have to keep moving it about until us. Nice one, John. You'll soon get used to it, mate. Give yourself a week or so, and you'll you just be out and about like that's nothing. And then you'll have the fishing gear in the back, and away you go. You better go anywhere. Oh, oh, you just had a little tap. Go on. Hopefully that's a bite on the bait and not fish knocking the feeder. Come on. At least that means that there's a few fish in the area. Oh, 
a fish in the area. <laughs> Just the case. No, it's definitely something there. That's fish not going to feed her, that is. They're not going to bait out the feeder, which is great. Now we just need them to pick up the worm bait and swim off with it. And hopefully we'll get a fish. So we know where the fish are now. They're close in. Get a bit of um, bait going down there. We should better get a couple feeding, hopefully. Got any more trips planned coming over here then, Paul? Be nice to come over to your side at some point. Andrew Pegg, one of our new members. How you doing, Andrew? Welcome to the live, mate. We're struggling a little bit today. We've been fishing out in the middle. We're now fishing down the side of the boat here. Just trying to get a bite at the moment. That's quite hard work. We have got a little tap at the moment, but it's not, I don't think it's an actual bite. I think it's fish emptying the feeder. Hopefully they'll find the hook bait in a minute. Nice to see lots of my members in today. Everyone is in green. Definitely got fish down there. It's definitely something tapping away at it, but they ain't found the hook bait yet. Oh, the boat's just turned off. He's just warming himself up in his boat, I think. Yep, that's a bite. That was definitely a bite. Come on. We're going to let it go a bit because we want to hook it. Man, there I am at Ludden Bridge on the boatyard side. Oh, we definitely got a bite. Come on, come on. Can this be first fish? Go on, go on. <laughs> we need to hook this fish and get the old first fish in the live. Major Stone, how you doing mate? Welcome to the live. Coming at the right time, we've actually got a bite right now. Just got to try and hook up.
We've got 24 people chatting away and we've got 22 thumbs up. Thanks very much, everyone. Appreciate that. I know I'm not bringing in loads of fish, but it is the middle of winter and it's hard work on the rivers normally. Definitely something down there tapping away at the bait, but for some reason that's not taking it off. I don't know why yet. Unless the bait's landed somewhere where the fish can't get to it, but they can get to the feeder. If you have to think of it, it might be worth me just recasting that. Still tapping away there. Hello again, John. Sinister. <laughs> I must admit, the worms I've got with me are not the best. They're not very wriggly, but they still should catch fish. A wriggly bunch of worms or just a normal bunch of worms normally still catch fish. All right, I'm going to move this because that should have gone really with the, the amount of boats and taps we were getting. Let's find out why it didn't. Pull that bait off and well, it's been pulled to pieces the bait, but didn't get hooked. Let's try a smaller bait. a bit sticky and I'd say not too great but I still should get a spike. I've got some fake sweet corn flavoured down there, I might try that in a minute. We'll stick to the worms a little bit if I want to catch fish. And that'll probably give us our best chances. So we filled the feeder up and we've got a little bunch of worms on the bottom. Wish it rain to go away. It's not much, but it's enough to be annoying. It's going to be even darker over to my right. I can't see the rod that well, no, not there, can I? Nope. We'll put the rod up there like that, and it's against the sky, you can see it better. Let's hope we get a bite. Sometimes bread will give you a bite if you can't get a bite, but I haven't got any of that with me today. Oh, 
the rain's getting heavier. We don't need that. Afternoon, Sammy. How you doing, mate? Open this sweep on back up. Pretty tough. There we go. Another one like lumps of three. That's a little bit big there. Should probably cut one up. Don't know if you've ever seen this flavoured tweak on before, it's fake stuff. It comes on little things like that and you cut it off, put like a band of three on, you can cut it into ones, twos, threes, that sort of stuff. It comes like that and it's got a flavouring on it that soaks in. It's in a packet, like so. I'm thinking about giving that a go in a sec. Three bits, I think we'll just cut it so there's a single bit. Maybe one or two, I think it'll go for. Once you cut it down, you end up with a two and a one like that. Got to be worth a go, and just the flavour. Trying to smell what flavour it is. I can't really say if it's on the packet. You don't really say flavour on the packet. I smell it not, I can't really tell what flavour it is. It's a fair way rain. <laughs> I'm getting rained on. Don't want rain. Well, I'm quite surprised. We're, we've been live nearly an hour now. We had a fish. It's very unusual for me. Whatever was knocking around down there hasn't come back this time. I haven't tried it before. Michelle, so I'm not really sure. But I've seen other people use it and catch. Another boat going through.
I don't think that's the, the bait that's a problem. I don't think there's that many fish about, to be honest. Yeah, I know that was, that was a spur of the moment trip, Martin, because I ain't been out for a couple of days, so I thought I'd better get out there. Come on, fishies, go away, rain. <laughs> Didn't actually know it was meant to rain today. I didn't even look, to be honest. I knew it was windy and I knew it was cold. I'm going to have to go and hide in the car if it pours rain because obviously I don't want to mess up the filming gear. Hi Beverly, how you doing? Welcome into live. Hi Mode, hopefully I'm not messing your name up. From Malaysia. Welcome into the live. Appreciate you coming in. What sort of fish do you catch over there then that we don't get here? Probably quite a lot. <laughs> I think that's where a lot of our tropical fish and stuff come from, isn't it? What we have in tanks, in our houses. raining properly on me now. Could really do about that. I've got the car literally right behind me everyone so if I absolutely pour down I'm gonna have to quickly run in with the camera gear. So don't be messing up anything else. <laughs> Excess market in Stalin. Yeah. Didn't know anything about that. How you doing, fishy? Welcome to the live, mate. Maybe that's where all the fish are gone. Maybe they've gone off to Stolen Market. Oh, flashing light ambulance going over the bridge. That's wherever that is, is okay.
up to you, Andy, if you fancy popping down, then yeah, you can. You can bring a rod if you like and have a little go, but it's hard work at the moment. But if not, I'll say I've got the car right behind me. I can soon put the boot up and retreat to the back end of the car for absolute pause. I'm already getting wet, so. Hi Nick, how you doing? How's things? Come on fishies, what is going on? No fishy, we're really struggling today. Which is quite unusual for me on the boards. I think I've been live for about an hour and I've had a couple of bites and that's it at the moment. But we'll go back out in the middle and get on that ground bait we chucked out there and see if that's brought in any fish yet in a minute. If not, I'm going to have to go right down the side of these boats and see if we can find some perch and rope. It's certainly not hectic. If you look back on my channel, you'll see I've had quite a few sessions here, lots of big fish and lots of fish. All different sorts of species, roach, rudd, perch, bream, skimmers, gudgeon. Eels, I think I've had all sorts here. I've literally had everything you can catch here, pretty much, apart from a pike I've never tried for. At this section. Rain stopped again, so that's good. Yeah, that's right. Fishy has definitely got colder, a lot colder. We're looking for, well, over this week, it's going to go into the minuses. It's going to be cold. Especially when I'm out there doing the old sea fishing. That's definitely going to be cold on the beaches. You get a wind chill us like minus five or whatever. That's quite nasty. I need to chat Mrs. Waterside up and ask for the Christmas presents early. So I need new boots and heated socks. <laughs> uh, you get the odd carp, not really here. There is certain parts of the board you can get them there. But not very many. Hello. Hiya, how you doing? Good day, Alright, I'm going to put this back out in the middle spot and hope that some fish have moved on that ground bait. I'm not going to put no ground bait in the feeder because there's not many fish about. We don't want to overfeed them. We want them to just come to what we've got and hopefully we'll get a bite. Oh, nice one, fishy. Hope you get a few pike. And sounds like fun going for the old crayfish and that. We do get a few crayfish in the broads, to be honest. I've seen a few. Oh, we've got a bite. Very nice. Something just picked up the bait because we've got slack line. We 
down the other bike. It's on slack, so. Well, it's nothing there, but that was definitely a bite. That's good news. All right, let's put a little bit of feed in the feeder. See if we can actually get a fish. I've got a hot chocolate with me. Thank you, Mr. Wartside. If you're going to come down, Andy, make sure you put your suit or something on. Pretty chilly out here and it keep raining. I ain't brought no food with me, Michelle. All I've got with me is the old flask. Let's pour a drink. So I know what you're saying, that is right. Every time you go to have something to eat, the fish start biting. No, so let's pour a hot chocolate. Cheers, everyone. So if you watch my other videos in this spot, normally the fish are swarmed up in here, but it's normally in the warmer weather. Got 32 people in, appreciate that everyone. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, not sure. <laughs> no, they're probably all at work. Probably is one tucked away somewhere, but I'm trying to think. It's stopped raining now, so I'm okay at the moment. As long as it don't pour down, I should be okay. That's just a wind mega net wiggle. Oh, that's a bite. That's a bite. The hot chocolate worked, Michelle. The hot chocolate worked. Come on. Let's get this one. Lukey's World World, how you doing, mate? Welcome to the live. Not yet. We ain't had anything yet. We've only had a few casts, to be fair. But it's harder work than what it would be normally in this area. We just had a tap, so hopefully.
There's people over in the boatyard over there. Did you see them walking about? A lot of people come down in the winter and just run their boats for a little while and dry them all out, get the heaters going. Try and get rid of all the damp condensation. It's strange, we're definitely getting the odd bite, but they're not taking it like they really want it. not going to be here long enough Michelle that's why I didn't bring nothing to eat I ain't going to be here for like six hours or nothing like that normally I'd bring something I'd bring a sandwich a couple of drinks I don't want to run too long because Fishing Dorset Shane's got his giveaway tonight at six, so I want to be home and washed up and stuff. Ready for that? But it would be nice if we can catch a few fish in the meantime. What's going on? Come on. All right, I'm going to cast a different area now and up and right up in the flow, which sometimes works. on this one. Spot on to where I'd normally put it. Boats are creaking away in the wind. All I can hear is <laughs> Cheers Andy, appreciate that. It has stopped raining so I'm alright at the moment. I'm just trying to catch fish, whether it rains, snow, whatever, I need to catch fish now. Not very often I go an hour on a live without getting anything. My hot chocolate's doing the job for me. I'm alright. Yeah, it's nice, Nicola. It's a lovely spot. It's just a shame that it's windy and raining and only a couple of degrees. Yeah, I was saying that earlier on, Andy, that we're meant to get some snow. If we do, I'll be out and about. That's so what I was saying. I need to chat up Miss Waterside and get me Christmas present early because I need me new thermal boots and some warm socks. I've got a couple of pairs on today, which are sort of helping, but I've still got my trainers on, so trainers in this weather, <laughs> not so good.
think we're down blank. I can't remember the last time I blanked. We'll just see fish and all fresh water. That might be good. It's still nice to chat with you lot. Probably just pulling the rod up and down. That's not a bite, but. Yeah, it should be good fun, Michelle. Should get a fair few people in there, I would have thought. Don't know how long it's going to last, but it should be fun for a while. I'm trying my best there, everyone, but <laughs> I can't make the fish bite. I could do my best too, but. Oh, here come that rain again. must be pretty strong out there because it's pulling the rod tip down it's not a bite it's... Oh, it's really cold here as well nick we're just going for it <laughs> i'm literally sitting here in the rain at the moment i told everyone i'd come out for a couple of hours because i ain't been out for a couple of days the weather's been so bad down the coast, I just couldn't go. I had a look a couple of times, but that wouldn't have been fishable or filmable. Yeah, Michelle, I should make a few people happy. <laughs> Some new bits of kit and stuff. Lovely. No, I haven't yet, Nick, which is unusual for me. And normally I'm sitting here. I can normally work out the swim and get them going, but today it's actually quiet. I've had a two or three bites, but didn't really carry on. They're definitely not hearing any numbers or anything like that. You don't want your reel back, Jay.
I know, Nick, that they're just not in the area today, but let's think. <laughs> I mean, a spot that's more of a summer spot than a winter spot as well, so I, sort of, I thought I'd try it. I thought I'd find a couple of fish. I'm going to try back down the side of the boat here because I've baited up down here a few times. Let's see what's down there. It looks like I'm on the looking for a blank saver at the moment. You never know. It can all just all of a sudden just kick off. Awesome fisherman, how you doing, mate? How's it going, Merv? Yeah, it'd be fun to see you get the fish slippers. dull day like this as well it's really dull today I think the fish would think it was night time and be feeding quite well but That could well be that, Andy. I don't think about that, actually. We've had a lot of high tides coming in lately, haven't we? There could well be salt water in there. That's good thinking. Which means the fish are all going to be horning, rocks and cockshaw down that area. Me and Joe were down... Um, we went back a couple of nights ago though, and just as dusk, there was a lot of fish jumping and knocking around the surface. So there was a few fish about. Hi, David, mate. How you doing, mate? I watched your little vid this morning. When you went out and braved it in the weather, you had a couple of whiting and that started pouring with rain. <laughs> I know what that felt like, but at least you had a go. Sometimes you just can't carry on, can you? The weather's just too crazy. Gonna be quite disappointed if I don't get a fish.
Yeah, a bit like today, <laughs> where I'm fishing now. Keep raining on me, it's windy. It's only a few degrees. What are you on about, Richard? Lock the doors on me. I'll just go to work, to the unit. <laughs> I've got massive heaters in there, I can make it toasty. Got a helicopter going above over there, above that unit. I think it's just out of picture, actually. Still no fish curbside at the moment. Had a couple of bites, but we're struggling. Which is very unusual for me on the old feeder on the broads. I'm literally at the point now where I'm trying to save, save the blank on it, <laughs> which is not good. It's not normally the case. Oh yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. But to be fair, if I have a couple of blank sessions a year, that's, that's normal for me. I don't normally get very many. put a lot of time and effort into the spots and stuff that I fish and I sort of know the spots but I also know today I've come to a, a summer spot and I just want to see if there's fish here in the winter and I think I've answered my own question but I do know where to go for the next one to get plenty of bites and stuff and get through fish Oh yeah, Michelle, I always put in the effort and try and catch food for everyone. No worries, John, we're still struggling away at the moment. Oh, what, John? <laughs> After getting all that. No, I don't know one been about, apart from the chap who's next to me today. I don't been no one down this area for a while now. Oh, 
and I was saying about them hand warmers the other day, Michelle. That's basically these. Got little numbers on the top, and you just charge them, and you can you know, actually run a USB out of them as well and charge stuff. You've got different heat settings on the top and stuff like that. But basically, you just put them in your pocket. That warms your pocket up. Don't get one though, get two, get one for each pocket. <laughs> yeah, they do the job. <coughs> Excuse me. They're called, focus, they're called tripole hand warmers. I think they're around £30. But they're definitely worth having if you go out in the minus weather and stuff like I do. Just to keep your fingertips warm and stuff for baiting up and things like that. Oh yeah, they get very warm. I'll keep mine on number two, but you can put them up to four. But I'll keep mine on number two and they last a lot longer. The main thing is if you can keep your head warm with a nice woolly hat, keep your hands warm and your toes warm, the suit will do the rest really. Cannot believe I ain't had a small fish or anything, not yet. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, Nick. A lot of people do. I do as well. And you just need to have the right gear if you're going to come out in these temperatures. Yeah, but it don't matter, John. If that does the job, mate. If that keep you warm, and that's what it's all about. I always have my, I always buy suits that uh, will zip up right around your neck, like so. Mine literally zip up all the way around and I can hardly get my fingers in there, it's that tight. These are from Avid, I've had this about five years, but that really does the job. You've got a hoodie on underneath as well, and the hood sort of packs out a little bit, stops any air getting in there. be honest today I'm my main thing is my toes are cold and that's because I'm wearing my trainers yeah I'm the same Michelle I'm getting on a bit as well <laughs> It does help a bit when you're walking up and down a, a steep beach or something like that. That helps you stay a little bit warmer. But it's always best to have the gear and be ready. Because you can go out and that can be absolutely lovely and warm. And two hours later, that can be frozen. I cannot believe I ain't getting bites, it's crazy. <laughs> but at least have a perch, I'm gonna have to 
try something different here. Um, Dig a bunch of worms and then literally get in the side of the boat and see what's down there. You probably won't even see me cast, I'm going to go that close in. Let's see if we can find something literally just down there. literally right down the side of the bank between this big white boat to the right here and the bank there's a tiny little gap and we've just dropped it down the side there That's handy, Michelle. <laughs> my pockets are lovely and warm now. My hands are nice and warm, but it makes your toes feel colder when you ain't got nothing warming your toes up. <laughs> I'm just wiggling them about at the moment. We're literally on a blank table, I think, at the moment. We're trying to just find a fish. try around the side of these boats. If we can't get any boats down there, then I'm gonna head it across the other side there towards them other boats. See what's over there. At least you got a couple curbside. Last time I went out, which was a few days back, I went out with Connor. Um, we had over 100 whiting. I had a Nice sole and I had a smooth hand. Wider sole and smooth hand is still about this time of year, it's crazy. That was the second sole uh, within seven days that I'd had. Yep, go for it, Richard. <laughs> where um, I was on Lowestoft River, Martin. The live's on the channel. non-stop bites mark and we were um even when i left i brought in three fish right near the end i think the second from the last cast so we double headers all night
getting wet now. <laughs> it's not good. Most people would say, right, give up. Don't sit there in the rain, you're not catching. <laughs> but I don't like to go without catching a fish. Link for the hand warmers. Uh, I'm trying to think where I got them from. Whether I got them off eBay or Amazon. If you put in rechargeable hand warmers on eBay or Amazon or on the, in the internet and then look for Tripol, which is T-R-I-P-O-L, hand warmers. They're the ones I use. Ten thousand milliamp. These ones you want to get the highest ones you can afford. Because obviously they last longer. Because they've got more power, they stay warmer longer. You will see if you put them on the top settings, they get absolutely red hot. <laughs> they get like a hot stone. I bring this close to the screen you can pause it later on after the live there you go you can see the model number there is tp01 is the model number that i'm using they're definitely good i've got two of them and they certainly do the job i wouldn't recommend something if i didn't use it myself and it didn't work as you know on the channel. not looking too good. I can't seem to make it happen. I'm getting soaked, I know that. <laughs> They're always like that, David. <laughs> there you go, Miss Waterside's give you the whole link, model numbers, the whole lot. There you go. have him underneath the videos and stuff I get and have a affiliate link on them shouldn't I? <laughs> but a few people ask about them. So what do you reckon everyone? I need to cast somewhere else, what do you reckon? Down the side of this boat in front of me? To the left? Back out in the middle. 
a little tap out into sort of this side of the river. What are you thinking? I'll let you choose. The chap next to me is now packing up. It's now getting dark. How warm do they get? They get too warm if you want them to, Michelle. I've got them on number two. You can keep going up. They actually get hot to the touch. That's what I was saying, I don't turn them up, I always just put them on number one or number two. And that's just enough. That's plenty. It's more than hot enough. You can see my hands are toasty now, look how red they are. <laughs> Enough, mate. <laughs> yeah, tough day fishing that. That is hard work, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't been out. I've had a couple of bites, but still ain't hooked up. That's same with me, yeah. I think they're just little ones. Normally, I can get 20, 30 fish here, no problem. I know, it's, a weird, it's weird, isn't it? Do you think he's got anything to do with salt tide? That's what I reckon, yeah. It's going to be yeah. the salt one, because it was quite high the other day, wasn't it? Well, I was down at Acre a couple of weeks ago, and I had a few skims, but nothing big, really. No. You know, insignificant. Yeah, it's got to be the salt. Last time I came here, I must have had probably 50 bream. Yeah. <laughs> it can't yeah. be really decent. Yeah. yeah. I'm just oh, well, trying to luck, just anyway, trying to beat the blank now and get a perch or something under the boats. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I was trying. I couldn't think of it getting to an interest. Just no. Worth yeah. a go, isn't it? Good luck anyway. Alright, nice to meet you. Hi oh, Donna, how you doing? How many people on the channel have ever seen me blank? <laughs> I don't do it too often, so I wouldn't have thought it'd be many people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go three quarters. No, I'm gonna go. What should I do? Let's go over in front of that white boat, shall we? Oh, literally, nearly hit the boat. <laughs> Let's give that a go, see if there's anything over there. See if they're just sitting off the edge of the flow there. I don't mind what I find now, just gotta find something. Oh, I think the feeder's getting pulled down the river actually. Oh, that flow's too rough. Mm, might not be able to do that. <laughs> Got 25 gram feeder on as well. That's literally disappeared down the river. 
<sighs> Can't do that then. Unless we've got a fish on, which I doubt. That quick. That weren't good, was it? <laughs> now I've got a 30 gram Brennan feeder on. And it just pulled it straight down the river. Right, we'll go this side of the flow. See what we can do this side. Hopefully it won't take that off down the river. Shouldn't do. 30 gram is plenty of weight to keep that down on the bottom. Even at this depth. Come on fishies. <laughs> be nice to me. There's got to be something down there feeding. Even an eel will do, if it has to be an eel. Not my favourite fish, but... Salt tides pretty much come in at Yarmouth and basically find their way all the way down to Broads. And you end up with loads of salt in the fresh water and that moves the fish on further and further up the broads to basically where the salt don't get to mm. how far up that is is pretty much horning roxham cottshell area that sort of area the rest of the broads get quite a bit of salt in it it does normally put the fish off for a good few days or a week or so and I did come down here the other day to do some shorts and stuff and when I come down the water was over the edge which means there's been some big salt tides down there Normally I can find a, a couple of fish. You can say we're getting a couple of bites, we just didn't hooked up. But the main big shoals have moved by looks of things. It wouldn't be so bad if it weren't raining on me, but that's making it worse. Time for another hot chocolate, I think. Yeah, <laughs> white and it'd help at the moment, wouldn't it? <laughs> You think I'd find a perch, and that's normally—I say easy. It's not easy, but that's, that's fairly easy to find a perch on the broads with a worm. Hot chocolate's nice and warm, that's one good thing. It's going to be dark soon, I see any trouble. I have got my night gear in that with me, but there's no point in setting it all up if there's not a lot happening.
Hi Paul, how you doing mate? We're just trying to get a bite at the moment, that's a hard session today. Rudd, roach, bream, perch, eels. Whatever we can get a bite off really. Sounds nice and cosy, Michelle. Yeah, the fish have, I think the fish have moved because of the salt. Didn't think about it, to be honest. But you normally still get the odd stray fish still about. Oh, here comes the rain properly now. That's not good. on me now that's not good <laughs> right i'm going to move this back to where we've actually had a couple of bites which is around the side of that boat there we don't get tangled up <laughs> Put this round where we had that bait earlier. other side of the bridge that's where that chap's been I was actually thinking about moving down to Womack or something like that but we've got to keep pouring with rain it's weird the rain comes across for a couple of minutes and then it go away again but Time, nearly four o'clock. I was going to fish till sort of quarter past five, something like that, but well, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> could get out of the rain a little bit and 
I'd still be able to show the rod and stuff. Or I could go the opposite way down the road a bit to Hornen. Where we definitely have much more chance of getting a bite. No, kind of still not had any fish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd catch it horning, but again, I'm not sure what the signal's like. No whiting about now, and <laughs> it's pretty hard work, mate. We're thinking about moving somewhere else for an hour. I don't like to go home with not catching a fish, but. I want to be back for six for Shane's giveaway. Right, let's do it then. Let's have a quick move. That's not, I don't think it's worth going all the way to Roxham just for an hour. That's the trouble. I know it's not much further, but it's much easier to fish from straight near the car at Hornen. Oh, nice hot chocolate. What do you reckon, everyone? Do you want me to go and save the blank? Yeah, everyone wants me to move, right. <laughs> Let's do it. I don't know what the weather's going to be like down there. It might be rough. Windy and terrible. But we'll probably get a fish. Put you in the car, but got 
feeling I've got you the wrong way up to drive in the car with the stand. Sorry. How's it going, Shane? It's been a really hard session so far. We've got really cold weather. It's pouring with rain, as you can see. And there's no fish biting. So I asked everyone, do you want me to move? Save a bank, so that's what we're about to do. I'm getting wet, I'm getting cold. <laughs> but we've got to do what we've got to do. I'm on the mud here, so I hope I can get out of here quite nicely. Bit dodgy, but we got through. Right, I'm putting my seatbelt on. I'm putting my seatbelt on. There will be everyone. Stuff's going everywhere. Yeah. so I can wear some trouble. Thank you. 
fish an hour longer than your giveaway tonight, I'll be in for that. <laughs> Just got to go and get a fish from somewhere. I don't blank very often. disabled bays but they're all the way along here and there won't be anyone parking this time of night. Also I'll move if I need to. Right just let me get the rod and stuff out. Head and stuff on. Let's see if we can find a fish here. Probably fish out the car if I want to, but it's not too bad out there. Just bear with me, I'll turn everything so it's all good. Light going. Very, very deep in.
Just plugging in some power and stuff. So we don't go flat. And then I'll put you some lights on. Oh, we've got a bite. Fish on. Crazy. We've been here two seconds. So we might find a couple of fish in. Need to get this power going so we don't lose you. There we go. Hopefully you can see it rod. Might want to move further forward. bite just now. It's still there I think. Me and everyone. I'm just getting sorted. I'm nearly there. I think we've been slack lined. The fish might still be there. Hello, Father Christmas. How you doing? I do believe it's snowing. Loads of flats and white, lots of white. Nice one, well done, mate. Right. Let's see what's happening. Fish on. This fish has really took the bait now. Really took the bait now. I'm not looking too good. Might do well. Might not though. <laughs> Going crazy on me. Got him unhooked. Might be a little bit worse for wear. We have a fish. Fish on. Lovely chubby. That's a rough if no one knows what that is. It's back in. See the difference between one cast in a different place. I just wanted to try it out of the spot. Get everything onto the path. Right, all the gears back out again. Let's find some fish. Wow. 
Hopefully. Let's see why not. This is without ground bait or anything going down, just a bunch of worms. In the rain, stroke snow. I think it is more snow than it is rain. Thanks everyone, I thought I'd find a fish, oh we've got a bite again. Look. So we do know the spots to go and catch fish, but sometimes you've got to try other spots and see if they will fish in the winter, like I did. Does snow look good on the, on the live? <laughs> We're about, I don't know, five, six miles away from where we were by road, so a long, long way down the boards by boat. Ready for some fresh bait and some ground bait on the next cast. We can start pulling a few fish in. We're getting taps like that even with no ground bait, but I don't think we've got a fish on, have <laughs> Yep, fish on. Two fish in five minutes left. A big old rock. So why are they taking their bait down so far? It's a bit crazy. Swallowed it down to its tail, I think. Stay with me, bud. Trouble on hooking this one. There we go. Not a rough. <laughs> 
two fish in five minutes. Makes a huge difference to where you're fishing them. See if we can find some different fish apart from the rough. And some perch and some bream and roach and stuff like that. A nice mixture will be good. this time. You know you can catch quite well close in here. We'll try a bit further out. See if we find some bigger fish. Put a little bit of bait in the feeder, nothing too crazy. Half full. See if we can get a bite out there. Down a bit, so you can see a bit better. We've moved out of, we're now at Hornin. Yeah, we saved the blank record, but hopefully we'll get a nice fish now. We've had a couple sitting here in the snow, all good fun. We could have found a, a nice size fish now to complete the live with. Yep, here we go, nice bite. Not taking long to get a bite down here, is it? Just all the fish have been pushed down here because there's a salt, you see. I'll have to come down here and do a, a full session. We've never done that on camera before. Hi Martin, how you doing? I haven't seen you for a long time. Where you been?
bit of a wind from behind me, but it's actually I don't know, probably more comfortable down here than where it was where I was earlier. You heard that boy, what's going on here? Come on, fishy. That bite's neatly baked to be honest. That was a good old bite, wasn't it? Left us on. Yep, fish on. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> That's a big rough. No one catching loads of rough, but a bee. They're really taking the bait down. I think I'm good at getting the old hooks in that. Yeah, besides that, that's real rough. <laughs> that's a big old rough, isn't it? <laughs> Don't know how big a record is, but not very big, so that's that's massive. <laughs> well, why are we only getting them? Come on, we want something different. Chunk of worms on. Tiny bit of ground bait. Let's draw down there a bit closer on, I think. Hopefully we can find something slightly different and a lot bigger. Cheers, Jay. I think we've had three fish now in ten minutes. <laughs> Cheers, Richard. Shows a different ears to where the fish are, don't they? Hopefully we'll get a bite fairly quickly again. We'll find something different. Be nice to get a good sized bream or Yeah, looks like we got a bite already. Pretty cool. the snow again. Yeah, the bite. What's going on? I hope it's not swallowing it. Like the other two, the other three I did. Wait, nice bite. Fish on, everyone.
Wow. Anyone know what the record rough is? Because this is huge. And I mean huge. <laughs> it's the biggest rough I've ever seen in any magazine or anywhere whatsoever. Look at the size of that. That is a massive rough. Whoa, jumped down my hands. <laughs> Quite chunky fish as well. I don't know what it weighs, but you can probably see us. It's got a bit of whip on it as well. What do you reckon? It's the biggest one I've seen. Anyone else seen a big one than that before? That's one massive rock. I don't know why the river's full of them. <laughs> Get the odd one now and again, but I've never had four in a row. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's stick it down there with no ground bait in. Let's see what that does. It's not taking long to get a bite, is it? In like a minute. <laughs> that was a huge rough, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Perch, Mr. Roach, something different. Shall I zoom in on the rod a bit? again fairly quick. Yep, here we go. <laughs> Not taking long at all, is it? Sean. Unbelievable, another massive one of them. I don't think I've ever seen rough anywhere near this size. Well, obviously in the river. Very hungry because they're literally swallowing the bait down. Every time I get one. Bear with me, it's gonna take a little while to get the hook out on these.
Another huge rough. Look at these up. I've never seen them that big before. Massive. Straight back down. Yeah. Well, I'm going to wang out in the middle this time and see what's out there. Never had five rough in one session before. <laughs> it's a bit crazy, especially at that size. You're all right, Michelle, carry on. If we can get a bite out in the middle, we'll see if there's something different. Got sort of snowy rain now, a bit of both. Can't say I'm not putting the effort in sitting here getting wet, <laughs> moving spots. They call rough Richard. R U F F rough. Point, ooh. A couple of these I'm getting a huge. Cheers for that, Martin. What have you been up to then, Martin? I ain't seen you for weeks. <laughs> I ain't spoke to you or nothing. I dropped you a couple of messages now and again. Yep. Haven't heard from you. Here, all of the oh, we've got a bite out in the middle. What is it? A slack line, just to start with. 
if we picked up something in the flow. Still there, whatever it is. Fish on. Hopefully it's something different. Hey, hey, we've got something different. Nice. Nice big roach. Lovely dub. That's more like it. Now the session's getting good. Don't get me wrong, the big rough are cool, but... Nice big roach is even better. Especially when it's that big. Lovely chubby. Nice chunky roach. Don't mind a few of them. Right, looks like we're going to fish down the middle then. I'm not even putting feed in the feeder at the moment. And I'm going to use the worm we got on there, I think, because there's still plenty of worm on there. And we're going down the middle again, because that was a nice size roach. Definitely need to come here and do a, a whole session during the day. It's a nice spot. Been doing loads of stuff at work, have you, Martin? You know, I can't I can imagine how, how much stuff's going through with all the Christmas presents and stuff like that being bought and. Thought we'd done something wrong or something, Martin. You hadn't spoken to me for weeks. It actually took you off the the M um, group. And so I dropped you quite a few messages and no replies or anything. <laughs> I'll get you put back on. Yeah, that's fair enough, Martin. This was a while ago, I ain't spoke to you for, I think, quite a few weeks. Oh, slack line up. Definitely some fish out there. Fish on. We're getting a few fish now, aren't we? <laughs> Oh, you've been watching the lives in the background, have you? So you've seen me sole and me smooth out and stuff like that. 200 whiting in one night. Let me get this. That's normally the size of the, the ruffle you get, just little things like that. But them other ones are huge. <laughs> no 
I'm about to get some more in the north of rope. Big rod, big brain, all that sort of stuff, perch. It's definitely a few fish out there because it's not taking long to get a bite. Let's get them back in the water. really deep on the edge here, I don't know how deep it is in the middle, but down the side it's about 10, 12 foot. So I can imagine out in the middle it's even deeper. This is where Joe dropped the keys from the car in the water. <laughs> in the old car. No, it's probably smaller than some goldfish, Michelle. <laughs> That was a little one. That was a nice roach a little while ago there. That was much bigger. It's not taking too long to get a bite now. We should get a few more before we finish. The wind's actually calmed right down. Just got like a breeze going down on there, probably five, five, eight mile an hour, something like that, maybe. Nothing to worry about. Tide's on its way down, but looks like everything that's flowing down the river is going to the left. I don't know if that's better to fish on the way up or the way down here. How you doing Fisher? We're down at Horland now. I think we're on fish number six, something like that. Here we go. It's literally taking around a minute to get a bite in, that's not bad. Ooh, that's a nice hit, that's going to be a roach when I do that. It's back by me. Fish on. What do we got? Fish are cast at the moment, yeah, you're right, yeah. Cool. Yep. I'm not sure if we've got a rod this time. I don't see it properly yet. Yeah, so there's a difference between different spots and different places on the boards. Lovely jabbly, another nice fish. Let's take my nails that because all the ground bait. <laughs> right. Cool, oh, gee, that's a lot of parcels, Martin. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> We 
get some more worm on. Quite impressed that we're getting this many bites without even putting any ground bait in the feeder. But if the fish are shoaled up here, then you don't need to. Yeah, we've been having some good sessions, Martin. Been catching a lot of fish, been out with a lot of subscribers, been out with Connor, been out with Robert Lawson, Andy Tigger. Joe's had a couple of sessions on Galston River and out with me, in the old sea fishing. And she's had some whiting and dogfish and stuff. Yeah, do keep going on the strike, Michelle. That's a pain. <laughs> Lined already. Oh, really? The fish are definitely out there. Fish on. Oh, come off in front of me. Damn. <laughs> There's another roach. And the fish, or oh, the bigger fish, seem to be. Down the middle of the river, which is cool. Come on, focus, what are you doing? <laughs> Making the rod look strange. Let's do that. I have got my new big light with me. I'll go and get that and see if that made any difference for us. Oh, thanks very much, Andy Tigger. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I am out in the cold and the snow, the rain, wind. <laughs> Toes are like ice. But I'm giving it a go and I'm finding a few fish. Thanks very much for that. Appreciate that. Big light, if I can light up a rod a bit more for you. I forgot to do something, didn't I, Andy? Woo woo! Thanks very much for the super chat, Andy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Should light up the rods a lot better now. How's that? Anyone see alright? Let's 
changing the battery in the headlamp. Let's have a disco. <laughs> I forgot to do it when Connor done it earlier. <laughs> Hey, right, man. That's a lot of extra, isn't it? No point in had a bike while I didn't mess around with the lights and stuff. Yard yeah, play, how you doing? Oh, here we go. Definitely something there. John. One of them rough again. size one. I'm surprised with these bunch of the worms on that we ain't had a perch. Opposite way down the river this time, see if that still works. Noise in the background is just people putting stuff in their cars and stuff. That was headlights, Richard. <laughs> they just went off. They ain't that bright. <laughs> the headlamp will do it though, I reckon. Let me go through. No, even my headlamp not powerful enough to do that. Not in there. It's a bit misty as well. Here we 
to go, we've got a bike. Forty two thumbs up, cheers everybody, appreciate that. Uh, a bit of both I think. <laughs> Get a bit of rain and it sort of snow. I think it's more snow at the moment. Bikes were better down the other way, weren't they? Usually we're sort of going against the tide like that, which is not really helping us. Let's move that, shall we? We might even have a little fish on. No, I don't think so. You're alright, Diane, no problem. We've moved down to Hornin now, Diane. And we're getting a fish every cast. We've had rough roach, rough. Funny picture there, aren't we? Come on, focus. That's it. <laughs> That's all right, Dan. No problem. I'll do the same when I make my dinner and stuff. I'm seeing you getting a bite every cast at the moment, so that's pretty cool. A little tap. Yeah, Headlights again. Just flakes of snow at the moment, I think. It's making everything wet, but I'm not soaked. Not too bad. It's definitely handy, isn't it, Dan?
get warmed up from that down. <laughs> <laughs> Martin. <laughs> We get all different ones, Diane. We have all different vehicles pull up with different people in them. I think it's a good thing with Amazon and stuff. If you've got the right account and that is, you can get stuff the next day. Hey, Sean. a little rough. There's a lot of them out there. I'm not sure if we've ever seen a group of them together like that before. It's crazy. I keep following the bait. My hook back. Some ones are playing on the water up there. Ooh, it's funny that we got it out. There we go, another rough. It's a pretty coloured fish, but they don't get too big. It'll be interesting to do. Put a load of ground back out here and See what we can get feeding down there. I'm going to put some in the feeder this time. Oh, there's a nice Egyptian goose there going past. I don't know if you can see it. Whoops. <laughs> that didn't bother her too much there. Eh? We have a couple of casts in that same area. Get some ground bait down there and see if it brings any bream or anything different. Some of ours come fairly late, it's been about 11 o'clock, but they do come in the evenings.
We've got 43 thumbs up, everyone. Thanks very much. Be nice if we can get to the 50 mark. Still got 29 people in. That's awesome. Probably going to fish till just after half past five, or sort of around half past five mark. And then I'm going to get back ready to watch Shane Fishing Dorset's giveaway. Oh, nice bite. Nice. Go on, pull up. That's it. That was a good bite. Oh, much better fish on. Then we got a bream. So the old ground bait do help. Unless it's a big perch. It could be a big roach. Yeah, that feels pretty good. It's going to be a net fish. Get a lifter. What have we got? Yep, it's the bream. That'll be lovely. Can't be bad. We're getting a few species now. It's cool. It's got a bit tangled in the net. The hook's gone through the fish and through the net. Man, get up. <laughs> Two quarter of us. On the edge of the rig. That's off. Oh. Right. So you missed a bream, hopefully. <coughs> Can't get him in the view. There's a nice fish. Lovely jabbly. Bit rough on his tail, he's lost the top end, top end of his tail's gone. The rest of the fish is nice. Right, let's get him back in. So a little tactic change there, putting some feed out. Bought us a bream. Right, I'm gonna have a really good night tonight if I stayed out late enough. But can't do it tonight. Cheers Jay, cheers Richard. Wants to get a couple of better sized fish now. Getting caught up on everything, yeah. <laughs> New part of fishing. A small bits of worm on. I'm going to try that this time. Bit of feed in the ground bait. Back over where we were. A 
bit of a crazy session really, isn't it? That sort of started first couple of hours, couldn't even find a fish, and now I'm getting a fish every cast and they're getting bigger and bigger. Lovely. Again already, slack lined and pulled round. Mm, sort of a, a small fish, which I think it is. Oh, it's off. <laughs> Damn. That was only a small fish, but it's looking like it's a two fish coming to the ground right now. Had that bite water in 30 seconds. Yeah, I know what that's like, Martin. <laughs> 45 thumbs up, can we get the extra five? Never know. already. That's a sharp point. That's going to be a roach, I would think. I certainly didn't think I was going to be fishing in the snow tonight. <laughs> It's not laying on off my gas, just plates coming down and melting. blurry. Just trying to get that to refocus for you. That's oh. better than isn't it? Forty six, we need four more. <laughs> Can we catch a few more fish before the end?
you go. Slack lined. I got it, but it's not very big by the feel of it. No, it's off anyway. <laughs> See, coming off. I'm just getting hooked just on the end of the worm, I think. Get a bit more bait on there. Nice big juicy worm bait on. See so if we can't tempt a even bigger bream or maybe a perch. We should find that bait fairly quick. There's a big old bait on there. There's a good four or five bits of worm on there. Top. Yeah, you got that coming up in your mind. Yeah, it should be good fun. That's what he's going over to do, I think, Richard. Oh, we got a bite, here we go. Doing, doing. Not a sharp bite. It's a roach, I would say. Fish on. Oh, fish off. Damn. Keep dropping them close in for some reason. Helicopter up in front of us.
fish and get drunk. <laughs> Rainy snow is back. raining on me now. I think it's well, it's hard to tell, it's sort of rainy snow, sleep, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we got a bite, here we go. Slack lined again. Slack lines can sometimes be a decent brain. Well, I don't know what this is. Fish on there. Fine, like a brain, but if it is, it's not very big. Oh, you're running rough again. Yeah, it is. Not a massive one of them, actually. Look at that. Crazy, they're huge. <laughs> Fish are quite cold actually. Just notice I just took my hands off my hand warmers and the difference is the fish are quite cold. <laughs> This one's took me hook. Damn. Well, I'm dead on time, really. Can't complain. It's pretty much half five. So I think I'm going to call it there, everyone. I would add one more cast, but that fish just took me hook. So. <laughs> oh, I just chucked it back in as well. That showed, didn't I? If you want to keep chatting away, I'll keep you going in the car for a little bit if you like. But it's getting very heavy in the rain and stuff now anyway. It's probably the best time to call it. So thanks for coming in everyone. Cheers for the mods and everyone looking out at the channel. And everyone supporting the channel. And they're going to get back and get sorted out ready for Shane's live giveaway tonight. So I'll still probably see you in a little bit there. I'll keep you going so you can chat and stuff. But I'm not going to put the rod back out. Oh. I'm going to put everything away, but it's not going to take too long.
Cheers Andy, appreciate that. Just thought I'd keep you going for a little bit of the drive on the way back. People were chatting away and I thought they might want to keep chatting. We do is try and keep our channel nice and safe for people to come into and enjoyable. Yeah, sort of cosy chat as I call it. <laughs> Fun to be in. Channeled, you know, to be in something. Sort of. I would have carried on, like so I didn't want to go over the top of Shane's live. Let me give you some better picture here. So I want to be on Shane's live at six, so.
don't mind if I can leave a comment underneath the video. This helps the channel with the search and helps the, the lives and stuff get put out to more people. Rough, uh, managed to get a premium in the end. Oh, 
auf nichts das heißt. here because I want to turn the heaters and stuff on in the car now and warm myself up a little bit on the way home. We'll go from there. So thanks everybody for coming in. Thanks all the mods for looking after the channel. Thanks for the super chats and I'll see you all soon. <laughs>